Hi there, my name's Mike Evans and I'm the creator of XRL7, a unique pixel art styled video series and music project which follows the exploits of the fictional band XRL7. It's a mix of comedy, social commentary and original music. A lot of time and love goes into the project, so I've started this side series to explore some of the aspects of how it was created, be that recording the music, drawing artwork and animating, voice acting, editing, stories about various episodes of voice actors, whatever seems to fit. And today I wanted to touch upon how all this started, the origins of the series, in the first episode of what I'm calling XRL7 Backstage. So I guess a good place to start is to tell you a bit about myself, where I'm coming from, and the projects that shaped the way for XRL7. I basically grew up on the great classic adventure games. My dad had an Atari STE, I had an Amiga 500 and eventually a PC with all the great names like the Monkey Island series, the Space Quest series, Beneath the Steel Sky, Simon the Sorcerer, Flashback, Another World, Cruise for a Corpse, Full Throttle. So many great games. I've always had a love and appreciation for pixel art from an early age. I actually made my own game in 2003 using a program called Adventure Game Studio. It's free, it's called Perils of Poom, good luck getting it to work now, but it was my first time delving into that world and drawing my own pixel art. I love the futuristic aesthetic, I love the look of Blade Runner, neon skyscrapers, and there's an anime that had quite a big effect on me called Cyber City Oedo 808. I used to draw comics inspired by it when I was younger, and it's no doubt an influence on XRL7 today. In the years after, I've had a few attempts at making games. There was one about a roadie that was promising and never got finished. Hey! I was writing that with my friends Lee Towson and Alan Rogers, who also do some voices in the series. There were some others too, but it was around 2016 when I decided to give it another go, and I started the basis of what would become XRL7. It was a game about a music journalist uncovering various conspiracies. But just like the Roadie Project, I realised this would take me years to complete on my own, and I stopped working on it. But while developing it, I wrote some key songs for the bands, including Apotheosis Man, a demo of Flickr, cause I just needed you, and the music of what would become Zealots and System Override. Which is a good segue onto the music. You could say I'm from a musical family in that my dad plays keyboards and was bassist in a band called Albert Monk who played with some pretty cool bands. He also composed library music which has been used on TV and film placements through the years. Both my parents have always been very supportive, in fact dad actually does a bit of keyboards during Alfie's speech on episode 3 and he does the keyboard backing on the Ariana song Flickr. Oops. As for me, I picked up a guitar in Christmas of 2000 and I was very inspired by bands like Korn, Deftone, Static X, Stabbing Westward, a lot of rock and metal. I've been in various bands through the years, quite a few with Lee, who, as I said, also does some voices in the series. Oh, they just make me so mad! There was a period where I was really into Japanese rock and from 2007 to 2010 I was in an alternative metal band called Broken Butterfly X. Since 2010, I've been in an electronic rock project called Mixy One. At this point, I'm into everything. Pop, electronic, rock, metal, acoustic, some hip hop, whatever, but mainly still rock. And this is reflected in the music, which sounds like this. Don't break a pie.
at the time of recording this, our latest album, Reflections, is out right now. A shameless plug. If you do like the music of XRL7, there might be some overlap as I write songs in both projects, so do feel free to check it out as well. So that's a very quick idea of where I'm coming from musically. So after leaving the game behind, I thought video was the way to go. I started a YouTube channel called Project Anything with Lee and Roggers. Roggers whom voices Alfie in XRL7, by the way. Oh! And this is where I started animating properly for the first time. Our main animated series was Sparkball. And we have some other things. The other main series is Rog Reviews, in which Roggers reviews or stream of consciousness rants about movies. So yeah, the film, Batman vs Superman. Basically, Batman is fighting Superman in this film. Yeah. This built my experience animating and there came a point where I wanted to start something fresh and something on my own again. I kept coming back to the song Apotheosis Man. I just love that song. And the outro especially. But I was having doubts because it's sung for a vocoder. Does that mean I'd have to do the whole project like that? How would that work? But after mulling it over and over and over, I just decided I'm going to send this to my friend Laurie of Studio Works. He'd been involved in some Mixy One production in the past and I wanted to see if he could mix it and add a new sound or two. And he delivered. He added some really cool production and an amazing lead guitar line that kind of sounds like a synth. And this just pumped me up. I got really excited about the song and ideas just flooded in. Out of nowhere, the song Kindred was written. What I thought would be purely a musical project, now I was thinking, oh, I can use the original pixel art style artwork and make a lyric video. Oh, I can make a story around this. Oh, what about a whole series? And ideas just flowed. The more I worked on this, the more I realized that it encompassed all of my passions. There's comedy in there, romance, conspiracy, animation, pixel art, original music, lots of original music. I very much see this as a joint video and music project. And the music has all sorts of styles. I wrote songs for other fictional bands within the series universe and asked my musician friends from various bands to sing them and they've all done amazing jobs. And if you like how they sound, I really encourage you to check out their bands because they're awesome. The voice acting talent is insane. Everyone does such a great job, which is amazing considering a lot of the cast are musicians, many who have never voice acted before. I'm so blessed to have such a great cast, including Roggers, who regularly steals scenes as the band manager, Alfie. Indeed. And I think I've said enough for one video. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoy the episodes, the music, and videos like this. It really means a lot. And if you like the series and want more, please support us by subscribing, spreading the word, streaming and downloading the music, and becoming a member of the XRL7 Patreon. That's a big one. There's a lot of cool, unique rewards and perks there. So please do check it out. Cheers, guys. Catch you later.